Ciders, 12 ants. Awesome. I ate six cookies. Thanks. And it looks like we are up. Oh, so did you have fun today? Welcome back. I know, the solstice and all the activities can be a little overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So, since we spoke earlier, um, everything has been finalized and you are, I'd say, all set to head to the big city. Now, we're still staying on the Sword Coast, which is great, but, um, I would like to officially introduce you to your future traveling companion, Aquin. She's still, she's just been sitting over there all day long, painting people's faces and drawing people. I, I don't think any of them have left too happy. She's probably not giving the portraits out. And I'm sure she's only painting one thing. And I'm positive it's just been an an owl all day, maybe? An owl there? (laughs) Okay. (sighs) She's a gem. I love her. But, well, you know. I'm finishing up inventory now. We had a very nice profit margin this holiday. I love it. I love being up. I'm sure my grandma, my grandmother would be proud, you know? Now, I'm sure it's been a busy day and you will be heading out in a few days to I sent out, um, there was someone in town that was also heading that way today, so I sent word ahead of you. Um, when you get into town, you should look for one of the guilds, I'll write down all the information for you, but I know a guild mom there, she's just a doll, and she'll help you guys, she'll help you. Aquin doesn't carry a lot of cash around. She prefers to trade services for services, which I guess is how they do it where she's from, but, you know. Um, it's all fine. (sighs) Have you said all your goodbyes to everyone in town? I know you're attached to that dingy little inn across the way, but it's still nice to give other people closure. You wouldn't want to wake up a few years later in a sweat and just sad and grieving that you didn't get to say those goodbyes. You know, that sounds sad. Anyway, just make sure you get all of this done before you go. And tonight, get a very restful sleep. The hog father is coming to town. Which, you know, he mostly just gives stuff to children, but... A half of my age can dream, you know. <sighs> Would you like a drink? No. Would you like a cookie? I baked him, of course. That makes me a little sad. You don't want wood. (laughs) It's fine. I baked all of them. Does that change your mind? No. I know you've had my baking. And it does need a little help with some magic. 
which I am not so inclined to learn. <sighs> no. It's always nice talking to you. You should come back for the solstice next year. At least. It's the least you can do. You know. Hang out and hopefully Brandy isn't cutting snowflakes. I heard that was a disaster. I prefer to. I don't cut snowflakes. It's a lot of work. What I do is also a lot of work though, so I think it's fine. It's all fine. Do you have any New Year's resolutions for the New Year? Get stronger. I wish you the best of health. It's all nice. I've had a lot of alcohol. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Does that make me sound terrible? <sighs> I'm not too worried. <sighs> it is what it is. Anyway. Just, uh, I have to clean up a little bit more, do a little more inventory. Just go say hi to Aquin. I've been watching her all night, and I think she's been struggling a little bit, but it's fine. She's probably going to ask you a lot of questions, a lot of personal questions. Uh, it's fine if you lie. <laughs> she thinks I'm She also thinks I have 50 hit points when, well, I'll let you decide if you think I have more or less. <laughs> you think I have less? Well, that would make sense. <sighs> I don't do anything. Well, that's not true. I don't do magic. Anyway, I'm rambling. It has been very nice to have you in the neighborhood for as long as you've been here. I feel like... I feel like I can trust you. And no one has found out about my prestidigitation potions, so thank you. Oh my goodness, hello! Ugh. I heard we're gonna be traveling companions. That's... it's honestly fantastic. And... your name was... Okay. Uh, right, 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 right. And... as a proper introduction, I am Aquin Varalith. Yes. I, uh, come from down under. Uh, right off the sword coast, really. Well, a little further down. But I think it's going to be so fun to travel around and see all these different things with these people. And we can talk about, you know, whatever you want to talk about. So we are going to Waterdeep, as I'm sure Mel mentioned. Yes, I think it's going to be so fun. There is someone there that I'm looking for. I think you'll have fun. 
there's a lot of fun taverns and it's a much bigger city than this. They have like uh, this fun like port thing with all these ships and a lot of water and they have uh, some districts that are richer than others and poorer than others and they have ooh, this cool like opera house. Do you speak giant by chance? I don't. It always gets confusing for me. Giants are... It's beautiful. It's a beautiful language, but, you know. So, I think that since we are going to be doing this together, that we should learn a little more about each other. If you don't mind, the reason that I came up here was to get uh, stats on different animals and different classes and kind of jot down things about the people here so I could go back to my family and my father would probably be proud of me for doing all this for the tribe. Um, you know, I, I am the youngest of all of my siblings and it's a little difficult, you know, because I'm I'm not going to be doing much for everyone, you know. I'm not going to be the treasurer or the head or any of this, so I left home to figure it out, I guess. You know, is there a reason you'd venture? Yeah, some reasons are better than others, some are worse than others. Some people just want to find a high purpose and you know, some people just don't have an option. Whatever, whatever works, you know. So, what I would like to do is take your full name. This will be great for well, everything, really. For me. So, what is it? You're only giving me a first name. Do you have a title? The stubborn. Now you have a title. Let's see. And then hair color. Eye color. Very straight nose. What class are you? Are you a multi classer? Do one thing? You worship a god? Do you have a a patron that bestows their powers upon you to shoot stuff? Very, uh, very good at observing. Do you wear, you know, spectacles at all? Usually, a daily basis, how often? Okay. How is your health? Do you eat meats, red meats? Do you eat your vegetables? Do you drink a lot? Health and, I guess, diet. I'm not your doctor. I'm just trying to, you know, figure it out. Interesting. Do you like fish? I mean, I like fish. I know you're not going to eat me. I'm just a little triton. You know. But Chewie, don't eat us. Not that I don't know. I do have magic. Uh, I have, I know some druidy things. You know. Uh, I'm not gonna show you right now. I'm not gonna make a scene. No. 
Maybe later I'll show you something I know. Maybe I'll turn into a bear for you. So, what's your health like? Uh, in this time, like health points, hit points, you know. Interesting. Good to know. And your armor class, is this normally what you wear or do you buff up a little? Okay. How much money do you have? Okay. And how much of that are you willing to share? Stingy. Just kidding. So, I think this is good for now. I will prod you a little bit later. I know that we're going to be taking off soon. Well, I'd say in two days. Get, uh, have the solstice over with. Clean up a little. I'm going to hang out with the male a little bit more. Do you have to say any goodbyes to anyone? Okay. Just, I don't know when we'll be back. When you'll be back. I think I'll be back here. Maybe next year. I don't know what you're planning on doing, but, uh, you know. Just don't leave any business unfinished. It's hard when you bounce around all the time, you know. It's a hard thing. Um, there's something else I want to ask. Are you superstitious or do you follow any weird, weird things? Uh, I'm, I don't consider myself a gullible person, but I've only been up here so long and there's so many cultures and so many customs. It. I've hung out with a lot of elves, a lot of half elves. Well, uh, a lot of dwarves. I've hung out with Janasi uh, before. I've hung out with T. I've had a lot, a lot, a lot. And the first three years I was up here, my party convinced me that you know, you can't shake an elf's hand unless you have a glove on it. Uh, and it's rude to shake a dwarf's hand with a glove on. So every time I met someone, if it was an elf, I would throw my gloves on really fast and shake their hand. I think they thought I was, I thought they, you know, I didn't think they were dirty anything. And then I would take my glove off and shake a dwarf's hand. And they were, they were confused. That's not a real thing. As far as I know, my party thought it was hilarious. So I'm sitting here and shuffling and doing all these things. And, you know, is there anything weird that, not weird, you know, customs are customs, culture is culture, you, but you know what I mean? No, nothing you can think of right now. Okay, that's almost good to know. You're already better than my last party I've had. I've had a few, it's, it's been a while. I do miss them. Sometimes, at least. It's nice to be free, you know what I mean? Anyway. I'm tired. My hands hurt. I saw a couple of people come by, you know, and did the face and drew and one man was not happy because I didn't want to give him this portrait because I did such a good job, but I ended up giving it to him. You know, no one tipped me all day today. Not that they have to, you know, apparently it's free service. For whatever, but it's nice to get something every now and again. It's not like I'm asking for something ridiculous like a platinum coin, which is a funny story. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and head to bed. You should too. You should get a lot of rest, uh, and prepare, and, you know. Anyway, I will see you around. Adventure. Mm. Soon there will be a party of adventurers and it'll be a lot of fun. Mm. Very happy, Mel. 
uh, set us up to do this. It's gonna be very exciting. Well, it's nice to meet you, officially. I'll see you around, alright? Bye. And happy winter solstice. Hello there, young one. Oh, do not be afraid. Do not try to move or struggle. <laughs> well, you can't really. You are dreaming. Soundly and safely in your bed. And I am just a visitor. See, I have brought you here to a place in my domain because I have a small request Shh, I can tell you are quivering a little bit just in your bed Oh, you're safe, don't worry, don't worry throughout this conversation so do not worry so my request very simple, very simple You are going to the big city soon And I want you to find my daughter there She is... A little bit of a feisty one I need you to deliver a message to her And she'll know it's for me, so do not worry about that Are you frightened of me? I promise there's nothing frightening here. Shh. Do you like my home? I do live on the silly side of the fairy realm, so you don't need to worry too much. Many people think that. I'm a little unsealy, but I promise. I even have a place on the court. So, I have left a letter by your bedside. I need you to take it to her and tell her it was from from May. May, May, May. A loving. Mother, how does that sound? And just so you know, there is no refusing. There is only delivering this letter. <sighs> My daughter can be a bit stubborn at times, so make sure that she knows it is from me. Of course, I could contact her myself, but what's more fun than enlisting a young adventurer that could use a few favors? Why? I can see the questions going on in your mind. Who wouldn't want to gain favor with an archfey? You'd have to be crazy. So, the thought, just do it, okay? I have such an important seat with the ceiling cord after all. You would be 
a fool to even consider refusing. So, do we have a deal? <laughs> Are you refusing to make a deal? Hmm. You might be a bit smarter than I pegged you for. Alright. Fine. No official deal. You are wise to not make a deal with a fae. Especially one as powerful as I. But, if you deliver this, I will owe you not a lot, but something small. I love and, if you're ever looking for more power, I can grant that. Of course, there are stipulations. <sighs> anyway, my daughter's name is Magnolia Brightspeck. That is the name she goes by. That is the name I gave to her. I think the mortals are calling her Maggie, but... Oh well. What a shame. I gave her such a loving name. She answers to it now, but it's fine. I would contact her myself, but it's so fun enlisting people. I only visit here a few times a year during the solstices. This is when I collect the teeth of the children. It is such a festive holiday. So, I thank you for listening. Not that you really had a choice, but... <laughs> I will bestow I might visit you again soon. I visit in dreams. I've been watching you all day today and maybe for the past few weeks. I don't really keep track of time. Not when I have eternity. So, shh. See? Haven't you gotten used to such promising accomplishments in your future. Make wise decisions. Please make wise decisions. I will see you soon.